Hey there friends, how's it going? Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be taking a look at the news. Well, there are clear indications of just how well, serious things are. It's not completely out about cryptocurrency fraud. Oh god, you wouldn't belong to rush, but we're not live. No, no, not not that news. We have enough of that already. The news is trying to scare us all the time. We're going to be looking at the important news. This one is kind of a serious story. Can you imagine? Put yourself in this position. You have been jailed for eight months for something you didn't even do. Well, that's exactly what happened to this pigeon. This pigeon is suspected of being a Chinese spy, but was released by police in India after being detained for eight months. In fact, we have a picture here of the moment the pigeon was released, and I'm not convinced that that detective believes it's entirely innocent. And looking at the pigeon's face, I'm starting to think maybe the pigeon is happy he got away with it too. I have my suspicions. However, after its eight months in captivity, it emerged that the bird was an open water racing pigeon. I was thinking that the owner must have been devastated during those eight months, but perhaps not if it was that bad with directions. Scientists at Northwestern University in Chicago have developed tiny little VR headsets to use on mice. I feel like this is the one experiment where we were the guinea pigs. And given we're the intelligent species, I feel like mice are going to be running into things a whole lot more. The VR headset has two lenses and two screens to give the little dudes a realistic 3D picture of aerial threats, like an owl coming in for a meal. So not only did they attach these small VR headsets to the mice and show them a freedom that they will never have, they made it a horror game. Those of you living in colder climates will be delighted to know that Phil has announced there will be an early spring this year. Who's Phil, you ask? It's Punxsutawney Phil! Okay, we have a decision. An early spring is on! It's claimed that since 1886, this one groundhog has been sustained by Groundhog Punch, otherwise known as Elixir of Life. I don't know why they're reserving it to just that one groundhog. Here you can see a chart of Phil's predictions all the way back to 1886. The inner circle claims a 100% accuracy rate. And they claim that whenever Phil's prediction was wrong, it was not Phil's fault, but rather the person who was interpreting the message. Apparently the saying, don't shoot the messenger, it doesn't count if the message was from a groundhog. An Okaloosa deputy has resigned following mistaking the sound of an acorn falling on his car as a gunshot. He then proceeded to open fire on his own patrol vehicle with someone detained in the back seat. And my legs went numb when it okay. hit me. All right, all right. I don't know, my legs went numb for a second. Now this might be a bit nutty, but maybe someone who can't tell the difference between a gunshot and an acorn falling could use a little more training. The sheriff's internal affairs investigation deemed Hernandez's use of force was not objectively reasonable. Wow. Must have taken about three minutes, and his office has incorporated the shooting into training for other deputies. Now, I know I mentioned training earlier, but I think just broadly, just more training. I don't think you can just say, hey, if it's an acorn, don't fire back. Like that specifically, maybe you don't need to cover. I just think in general, have them better trained. Now we'll take a quick second to check in on my home country. What's going on in Ireland? Easy, easy, if you talk rough. And that's it for this segment of what's going on in Ireland. Are you happy now? Once again, we have no answers, just more questions. A Colorado pastor has recently been accused of stealing over one million dollars in a cryptocurrency scheme. He has claimed that God told him to do it. I didn't know that was a defense we could use. I'll keep that in the holster for next time. Regalado added, a few hundred thousand dollars went to a home remodel the Lord told us to do. We took God at his word and sold a cryptocurrency with no clear exit. You know, if you really do think you're talking to God and he's telling you to create a cryptocurrency Ponzi scheme, 
Maybe you're not talking to God, you know, maybe it's some other voice in your head. <laughs> Imagine, that's the reason for all the suffering in the world. It turns out that God is too busy being a crypto bro at the moment. Would kind of explain the timeline, since like 2016, it's all been going haywire. Isn't that when crypto started to kind of go to the moon? Or to, to heaven? I don't know. Next segment. An individual in New York has taken advantage of a loophole and got a free hotel room for five years. Then he claimed to own the entire building. He was arrested and charged with filing false property records, but Barreto, 48, says he was surprised when police showed up at his boyfriend's apartment with guns and bulletproof shields. The man said, oh, I thought you were doing something for Valentine's Day to spice up the relationship. Now I know they always say, use protection. But in what world do you see a riot shield and go, mm, that seems about right, yeah. Kinky. Essentially, there is a law, loophole, that allows occupants of a single room in buildings constructed before 1969 to demand a six-month lease. He claimed that he paid for a night in the hotel and so was a tenant. He asked for a lease and the hotel promptly kicked him out. He went to court the next day, the court denied, then appealing to the state supreme court where the lawyers for the building owners did not show up, thus he won by default. The judge then ordered the owners of the hotel to give the man a key and when Went on to live there as the owners had no interest in engaging with the lease. And you could have just stopped there. You've kind of won. You've got free lodging. You can just stay in downtown New York for free. You've won. But no. They went on to falsify property records and claim to own the entire building. This is a perfect example of someone being given an inch and they want to take a mile. Like they really lucked out. All you had to do was take the hotel room. In other news, a horse has sold for a record price of $10 million at auction. And yes, I said horse, not house. And honestly, I think they got ripped off. I mean, that horse isn't even doing laps that fast. And even so, they've quite cleverly shrunk down the laps he's doing. That's a small area that he's doing laps in. So I really think that someone got scammed here. In other news, we have a case of immaculate conception. That's right, Charlotte has become pregnant without having any male companion for the last eight years. How is this possible? Well, Charlotte is a stingray. How is this possible? Well, I don't know. I don't even know how human babies are made. <laughs> I was gonna say tell me in the comments, but my parents still say I'm not old enough. Apparently the stingray has not shared a water tank with a male of its species in eight years. Which honestly seems kind of cruel in itself. I feel like the researchers here told the stingray to go F itself and... Well... It did. A statue of President Lincoln, who is overlooking the Ohio River, had its hat stolen recently. The sculptor warned, bring the hat back because you can't wear it. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say they didn't see that hat and go, huh, that's pretty fire, <laughs> and go steal it to wear it. But seriously, if, if you're watching this, give, give the man his hat back, man. It, it, it's kind of like his thing. It's all he has. Discount site Wish, once valued at 14 billion, has just sold for 173 million dollars, proving that Wish is just the Wish version of Wish. I guess it doesn't help your brand when you become synonymous for being the bad version of something. <laughs> In an Australian shopping mall, a child, a three-year-old, has gotten stuck inside of a claw machine. Uh, go to that back corner. Go over to that corner over there. The prizes in those things are just getting weirder and weirder. The boy's father had said that the child had got up there in a split second, saying, I had zero chance to react to it. It was unbelievable how fast he climbed up there. And that really sounds like, I'm not accusing anyone of anything, but it really sounds like you weren't watching him for quite a long time. <laughs> I struggle to imagine just like a child sliding up inside that machine quite that fast. An Oklahoma judge has resigned after being found to have sent over 500 texts during hearings. And these just weren't for littering. This was a murder trial, including messages that mocked the prosecutors and included several emojis. The judge said, I promise to uphold the Constitution in a fair, even-handed, and efficient manner. I believe that I have done so, however, being human, I have also faltered. 
100 emoji, 100 emoji, 100 emoji, fire emoji, fire emoji, shrug emoji. You see, these things always weird me out because you can't really trust anyone with these things, can you? I always think of it on flights because I, I hate flying. I have a fear of flying and I'm just thinking the captain's just a person. Like, they, they make mistakes, <laughs> they, they do things wrong, you know, who knows what's going through their head. At least we know they're probably not getting signal up there. So. A 22-year-old man from Taiwan was recently stopped at an airport in Bangkok after he was found to be transporting two Asian small clawed otters and a prairie dog. The man had stuffed each animal into a separate sock and then concealed them inside of his boxer shorts. People got suspicious when they noticed a large bulge. There's a lot to, to unpack there. Like, don't, don't unpack it. Please don't unpack it. But there's... There's a lot going on there. How can people do this? I, I get nervous in airports and I'm holding nothing suspicious. How can someone just go through like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got this <laughs> and not worry about the consequences. I was going to say we all strive for that level of confidence, but perhaps it's best we don't have that level of confidence. I'm sure we would have done a lot of stupid stuff if we did. South Korea's food ministry is urging its people to stop eating fried toothpicks, a TikTok trend that has taken hold. Quote, their safety as food has not been verified. And while it is harmless in small amounts, it can cause vomiting, diarrhea, and inflammation if overconsumed. As we look at this story and break down the pros and cons, I'm seeing a few cons. Yeah, reasonable. I understand that. But uh, it's very crispy. One TikTok user declared, and I suppose it's hard for the food ministry to argue against that. I'm a picky eater, I get it. And on the subject of food, a person who ate too much kebab called for an ambulance in Wales. So if you were in a near-death situation in Wales this January and no one showed up, now you know why. It was a kebab-related emergency. They may be better off because if I saw that ambulance approaching me, I'd assume I'm having a stroke. What with ambulance spelled backwards, and I'm assuming Welsh on the top, it just sounds cutesy to me when I read it. Ambiwance. OpenAI has just revealed Sora, their video generating AI. You can see their progress here over a year when we compare old videos of AI Will Smith eating spaghetti compared to current day videos of AI Will Smith eating spaghetti. As you can see here, he's clearly enjoying the spaghetti in both of them, so there is some realism. But if we really pay attention to the video and we pause it, we can see that from a year ago, some of the spaghetti is not even going into Will Smith's mouth. Newsflash, by the way, that is a real video of Will Smith eating spaghetti. We haven't quite gotten to that level of realism yet, but it's kind of scary that you thought we had. And me, by the way, I just... I can't tell anymore. I really don't know if he's eating spaghetti or not. At this rate of progress, I really feel like there's a future coming right at us where we won't know if Will Smith is eating spaghetti or not. That is about all the weird and wacky I have from January and February. If you liked it, then awesome. If you didn't like it, well, God told me to do it. Uh, see you next time. Bye for now.